Okay, let's do a review of directional terms and answer the question, what ways are directional terms used in anatomy? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Morton and I'm the noted anatomist. So here are all the directional terms that we're going to practice doing today through a series of different problems. If you need time, pause the video before I give the answer to help give you a chance to think. So question number one is this, the nose is blank and blank to the eyes. Well, the nose is between your eyes and it's below it. So the nose is inferior and medial to the eyes. How about this one? Hair is blank to the skull. Well, hair is superficial to the skull or hair is external to the skull. How about this one? The ears are blank and blank to the nose. Well, the ears are behind and lateral. So let's do the ears are lateral and posterior to the nose. How about this one? The biceps brachii muscle attaches blank on the scapula and blank on the radius. Well, the biceps is proximally attached on the scapula and distally attached on the radius. How about this one? That is called the middle superior alveolar nerve. Well, complete the names of the other nerves based upon what we know from directional terms. So let's start with this one. This one's called the anterior something alveolar nerve. And because the other one is called the middle superior alveolar nerve and it's anterior towards the front, I'm gonna call it the anterior superior alveolar nerve. Now if we look at this one, if we have an anterior superior and a middle superior alveolar nerve and this nerve is towards the back of the maxilla, the upper jaw, this is the posterior superior alveolar nerve. And how about this one down here? Because we have three superior alveolar nerves in the maxilla or upper jaw, and there is one in the lower jaw or the mandible, we'll call this one the inferior alveolar nerve for the bottom, okay? How about this one? This is showing the cerebral arterial territories and in Salmon color there is the middle cerebral artery. What are the names of the other two arteries? Well, this one here is on the front of the brain and it's on the cerebrum. And so we'll call it the anterior cerebral artery. And this one is on the back of the cerebrum. So we'll call it the posterior cerebral artery. Now, how about this? We take a close up of the back of this illustration, I want you to identify the mole indicated by the following instructions. The most inferior and lateral mole on the left side of the back. Well, there's the left and right based on anatomical position because it's the patient's left or right. And we go to the most inferior and lateral. That's the indicated mole by the instructions. Here's an anterior and posterior view of the femur on the right side of the body. And I want you to identify the bony landmark using the following instructions. The lesser trochanter is a bony protuberance located posteriorly on the medial surface of the proximal femur. So this is the anterior view of the femur. So let's go to the posterior view of the femur and it's on the medial surface of the proximal femur. So let's go proximally, closer to the origin, and there is the medial protuberance. That is the lesser trochanter. And now here's a coronal section through the head. And I want you to identify each letter based on the following description. Now pause and figure out what all the letters are, but I'm gonna go forward. The pia mater is intimately associated with the cerebrum. There's the cerebrum and there's the pia mater. The skull, can you hear in the background? We're doing some renovations in the kitchen. You know, COVID stuff. The skull is the most superficial structure in the diagram below. So there's the skull. It's the most superficial thing. Okay, skull. The dura mater is located deep to the skull. So we go deep to the skull, dura mater. And arachnoid mater is deep to the dura. So let's go deep to the dura. That is arachnoid mater. And between the arachnoid and pia mater is cerebral spinal fluid. We go between the two that cerebral spinal fluid. And that, my friends, is a review of all the directional terms in a nutshell.